Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Uh, we're going to go through a Cali Wireshark exercise. So this is something I do in a lot of my sessions. It's a lot to do with uh, learning how to use your tools, learning how your tools behave, and getting some skills sharpened up. That's it. So I'm going to jump right into it. We've got uh, Kali Linux running here. I've just basically got it in a VM. Doesn't matter if it's installed right on your bare metal or if it's a VM, doesn't matter. And we've got a good old just a terminal window, command prompt, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to run an end map. So from Wireshark, we're going to talk about best practices and how to capture stuff and all that good stuff. So we are going to target a device. So the best thing to do here is number one, pick your interface. It would be my Ethernet. Host 10.44, 10.53. That's the one we want. And we're going to start a capture. There we go. And we're not doing anything at all right now, so we're not going to see a filter. So best practices, whenever you set up a capture filter, ping it. Even if it doesn't work, just ping it. Just ping it. And you can see there goes my pings. Great. Control C breaks out of that. And I can see my pings, my ping responses. You'll see the odd ARP. So that's all great stuff. Right from Wireshark, if you see this green fin, that will just restart your capture and I'm not going to save it. So continue without saving. We're good to go. And now I'm going to run nmap 10.44, 10.53. Boom. And off it goes to the races. And it says that it found all these ports 88, 443, 888. I'm going to stop the capture just for one moment. And the question here is how many ports did we scan? Were they TCP? Were they UDP? Did we scan 1,000, 10,000? How many did we do? Now, if you go through the documentation on Nmap, it's very vague. And if you start searching on the internet, you get confused relatively quickly. Most people have theories about it. And there's very few documented, proven answers to the question of what do you scan when you do an Nmap? Or what ports do you scan? So what I'm going to do here is just use Wireshark and find out. We're going to go to statistics. We're going to go to conversations. And within conversations, we're going to go to TCP because we can see there's 10,002 right there. UDP, there's none. So part of the question has been answered. It's a TCP scan when you just type in Nmap and a device, not UDP. And we only scanned 1,000 some odd ports. There you go. So in this example, we want to be able to scan more than 1,000 because we know that there's some ports that are open that was not listed in these results. So what do you do? Well, we're going to do an nmap again. Uh, same IP, dash P for port number, one dash, and watch this, 65555. There you go. And and I know people are going to cringe. Just, just hear me out here. And so if you don't know what the port ranges are, and you just type in the, ma the max number that you think is the max number, let's just see what happens. So it's not going to do it, right? And it says, hey, Bozo, it's got to be between 0 and 65535. So let's change that. And that little guy just went down a bit. Let me just back up. 65535. Enter. And off you go to the races. So now it's doing stuff. So it works. So we're going to break out of this. Because the first thing was to make sure the command actually works. It does. So now we're going to come over here and start our trace again. Continue without saving. And if you pay attention here on the top, right on the title bar, it tells you I'm capturing from Ethernet using this filter, host 10.44.10.53. Going to recall that last command, hit enter, and we can see it go off to the races. We're going to wait for it to finish. We're going to answer the question again, is it TCP UDP? And did we scan all 65,535 ports using this example? And we can even see that we have extra port numbers being listed. So before it was 88443888. And now we have 88443888 and two extra ones. See that? So back here, we're going to stop. You don't need to stop, but I just do it out of habit. Statistics, conversations, and wait for it to crunch. And we can see here there's 65,634 ports that we scan this time around. So it's kind of interesting that we just be aware of the behavior of the tools. How do we calibrate our tools? How do we validate our tools? How do we verify our tools? And how do we get more skills with Wireshark? It's a very simple exercise, and we could spend hours on just this simple exercise. 
Hope that helped. Have a great day. Bye for now.